name's Hal Brainerd. I'm a photographer. I got started in 1969 as a professional. I started in, in professionally, you know, I started in 68, but professionally in 69 with the military. I was assigned to the White House. Uh, I was also, after one year, I was manager of uh, the military district of Washington Color Photo Lab. So I was there for three years. Uh, mostly arrivals and department, the departures of heads of state. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I think the first one I did was Chancellor of West Germany, Kirk George Kissinger. So he was met at the White House by uh, Secretary of State Elliot Richardson and General Westmoreland. And I don't really remember all the crew he was met with, but uh, you know, you're you're herded into very small areas mm -hmm. uh, that the press corps is you know, roped into, basically. And you fight for that one little square inch that you feel is the best spot to be in. When I, I left the I left the military in 1971 mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, became manager of Oklahoma's oldest and largest commercial studio. So that was really where I learned lighting. I've been doing ads for Pepsi Cola, Heinz Food, Holiday Inn, frame oil filters, flew me all over the United States. Some of the major corporations, you know. And then I got uh, uh, some reps at that time for my landscape work. And they were just selling, they were doing a wonderful job making a resume for me. <laughs> but my work was all over jails, office walls, the industrial oil well shops. Well, Betty went through a couple of tornadoes in Oklahoma, which I I hadn't been in one. I'd been through, you know, I mean, I'd seen them going over the house and stuff. I never had the damage. Mm -hmm. And uh, she informed me that she was coming home. Was I coming with her? Oh, uh, that's my wife. Mm -hmm. That's Betty Caswell. This was home. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I should have been a mountain kid because I just, I fell in love with it out here. I never lived in a city under 400,000. So <laughs> it was a drastic change with being a landscape photographer. I loved the scenery. So I came back and we opened up the gallery in Bluefield and I started doing portraits. After about four years of having the gallery and always letting Betty run it, when I met Betty, she was manager of 15 different departments in that company department store in Boston, there outside of Washington. But she was really efficient in the gallery. Uh, and then when I got comfortable with people, I realized I really enjoyed portraits. I wish I could have done that earlier in my life, mm -hmm. but I really enjoyed that. And we kind of, after about 10 years in this area, we really saturated the market for portraiture. Uh, I know a lady called Betty one day and said, are you watching the TV uh, travel channel? No. This is on a Sunday. Well, turn it on, turn it on, because they're showing the old historic homes of Tazel, and your portraits are in every single house. <laughs> and they really were. So we really had kind of started to saturate the market for it. I walked into the Lost Pearl when they came to Tazel. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a little strip mall that doesn't stand out and it's off the beaten path and you walk in and it was just amazing the way they had laid it out it was just it was a photographer's dream walking <laughs> in the door it was a beautiful vision you know mm -hmm. and uh, the the western artwork there again being a, an artist myself and having a gallery in this area you know it was the quality of the work was just fabulous mm -hmm. i was just blown away Everyone always says, do you have a favorite piece? And I've always said, yeah, that's what I'm t taking tomorrow. I've never felt, you know, I, I think the quality of the artist is only as good as what you're doing that in, the, in the present. You know? mm -hmm. And hopefully you're always improving. But there was one shot I took up on East River Mountain years ago. It was, it's very nice. Uh, I didn't think it was my favorite piece. But one day I cropped it just a little bit different. Slight difference. I said, "Oh man, that made all the difference in the world." But I do. I've got you know some beautiful landscapes here in the town, so mm -hmm. I think are just marvelous as well. Pretty well known for my panoramas. Uh, it's a real thrill to get to show your work locally mm -hmm. and have people. And you go down the street, they say, "Oh, guess what I saw yesterday? I thought it was so beautiful." Yeah. And we have it just a gorgeous area as far as landscapes go. So, Landscapes have really become a hobby. I don't really have a market for them mm -hmm. uh, at this point. I mean, if if you're out there selling it yourself, like I was at art shows, that's a whole different ballgame. You know? mm -hmm. But it just it's something I thoroughly enjoy doing and still do it, uh, and will continue doing it. Mm -hmm.
So, you know, um, I, can, uh, I can tell you one thing. If you're a real artist, you're going to do it whether you're making money or not. And if you're, if you're that committed to it, you'll probably do fine and make a living at it. But you have to really have a commitment to do it. It, it, and it just has to be part of your life, and you're going to do it anyway. And I, those people will make it.